Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will see how to automate WhatsApp because we know for WhatsApp, we already have APK installed on our mobile and we don't have APK also. So this is sometimes we can say uh, outside application, but we still want to, you know, automate it. We still want to test it. So how can we do that? So here I have opened my uh, Pfizer in that. Let me just show you the screen okay I might need to restart it because sometimes Visor gives a problem like this so let me just see first so first I will check you know if it's through the ADB devices that if my device is detected because sometimes it happens when you're working on APM you know it is not able to detect your device so it's always better you do this ADB devices it will show you yes the device is detected and then you can start your AP uh, your visor and I already have my APM up and running, APM server. Okay. So view. All right. Now, if you see here, if I go into apps, and let me just type WhatsApp. Okay, so this is WhatsApp. Okay. So what I want to do, I just want to do some simple operation on there. Just to want to make you show how you can uh, automate an app which is for which you don't have an APK. So it's just a simple app. I will just click here on status. Okay, nothing much. Just want to show you that how we can do that. And later on we can, you know, uh, you, we can automate it more. So if you see here in program, and generally till now, whatever programs we have written, there are three capabilities which we are giving till now. Okay, one is this app sorry okay one is this capability first one second one is the app package name and the app activity name so what happened that either uh, the APM give us a choice that either we give two capability which is app package and app activity and it can give this activity also it should work for us okay so till now we have given all the three activities but what happened that whenever our program is running it is just looking for this activity first and if it's there it ignore these two other capabilities Okay, so till now we have given the path of our APK. So our program was, you know, taking the app package name and activity name through this path only. And after that, it checks that if the application is already installed, then it will not install. It just go ahead with the program with our test cases. And if the application is not installed, then it gets installed and then our test cases go ahead. Okay, so till now it was looking at this activity, but what we will do now, I don't want you know that my APM to look for this uh, capability so I will comment this out okay now I am just left with this app package and app activity here I need to give the package name and the activity name which are for the WhatsApp okay so if you look here uh, let me just open the UI automator also So if you don't, if you're not able to open UI Automator from this command prompt, just make it sure you see my previous videos where I have given the path till UI Automator so that I can open it from the command prompt. So, or maybe you can do from your own side also. Just set up the path into environmental variable uh, up to UI Automator, which is in Android SDK, and you will be able to open this. Okay. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just clicking on this icon all right okay see this is the whatsapp which is open in uh, my uh, my mobile okay so if you see here this is the whatsapp and these are the different tabs okay but before i you know this is just an additional thing uh, i want to click on that tab but before that i want to know what is the this one what is the capability for the package name and for the activity name correct so for that what I will do there is another app in my mobile which is called app info I think still it's getting free so let me just open app info on my PC okay just wait okay so I have opened the app info uh, let me just restart visor again
okay so it is open and here is the app info so I'm clicking on this so it has opened the app info and I know to in order to check the package name you know I just need to search for that sometime you know it gives you an ad also it means you just have to ignore that so I can just type what's here I am getting this whatsapp I will just click on this it gives me all the information the package name is com.whatsapp so you have to just type com.whatsapp here okay in the app package name and if you see the activities which I have I need to make it sure I have to give the activity through which my whatsapp gets started so see these are all grayed out so I cannot start with these so I need to look something which is not grayed out okay so here I can look for see this is what this is regarding payment India payment something so I don't want to go there this is main activity so it seems that you know it should be the main activity so let me just launch it from here if you see here I've clicked on the button it launched the main activity so that's mean my activity is dot main okay so just small configuration we required we have to give the app package name and activity and we have to comment out this one we have to comment out this line which is giving the path of my apk all right so that's it no other uh, you know no other configurations required now for whatsapp we can directly write our code and one more thing if you notice the app capability which i have given i have given app package without any underscore and without any space till now what we were seeing here we are getting you know uh, let me just one second yeah so you are getting app dash package here okay the reason is in the documents many of the places it has given app dash package but in reality if you actually want to use these capabilities so you have to use the app package without without any dash and without any space okay so let me go there first so it is uh, wait. yeah this one okay so this is if you see here it is app then package and P is in capital so you have to give this just just make it sure you are doing this otherwise it will not work for you okay so once this is given now you can write your code so what we need to write we just need to we need just need to click on that on the tab here correct we just need to click on that all right so what I can do now I can give driver dot find element all right now I need to see that what is the locator I need to use so if I see the locator of this the package name is okay and it has a class okay like linear layout and let me go to this tab so it has also a linear layout class and it has also a linear layout class but so that's mean that's not a unique one right I want something unique through which I can click on that so what else we can use okay so there is a there's a resource ID which is called tab right so I believe that because this application has three files so there should be three resource ID with the same name so if I go here see here also it's a resource ID tab and its text is given chat okay so normally APM says that you know we should not give anything on the basis of chats on the basis of text which is chat right now so we should not use text because you know these texts get changed sometime when the language is getting changed or due to some other reasons also so APM does not want that we give something on the basis of text so we will try to give something which is not text okay or which is not name in the other sense all right and if you go here on status then it's also a same ID if you call say it's also a same ID that's mean if I call this ID it will give me three elements okay but I think that's not an issue if like we have worked on selenium we know if we get a situation like this then how to handle that so we will see the same thing so we will type driver dot find element and instead of element I will give elements so that I can get all the three okay by dot ID alright so you know that if we are getting more than one element how can we get the first or the second element it's very simple you have to put a dot okay and then you have to put get and then you can give some index so let's say I want to click on the first one not the zeroth one okay and then I am clicking on it okay so what it will do it will try to open this first and then it will try to click on this because this uh, resource ID will give me three tabs right so I'm just trying to click on the first one 
So this is the zeroth one, this is first one, and this is second one. So I'm trying to click on the first one. Okay. And also one more thing which I have done here. Uh, if you see here, I have given Android driver, driver, and here I have given new Android driver, right? But if you want, instead of Android driver, you can even give APM driver. So that will also work fine. Let's say you want to run the same script on iOS also. Okay, because let's say in your company, you have uh, Android also and you have iOS also. So in that case, we have to have give APM here and later on, we can put a if else condition here so that if you want to work on iOS, you know, my it will uh, uh, work for iOS driver. If I want to work for Android driver, I can give Android driver in the if else condition and I can control that through test and XM and other things also. So that's another thing. So right now, just we are having the Android. So I'm given the Android driver. But in case if you're working on iOS, you can give the APM driver also here. Okay. Like the same way we give in Selenium, like web driver driver equal to new Firefox driver. Here also we can give the same way that APM driver driver equal to new APM Android, uh, Android driver. Okay. So I will just try to run it now. So run as, run as test ng and, uh, Okay, save. Okay, let's see. And here's our server. And always make it sure whenever you are running any program, just make it sure you should, you know, turn on this APM server screen in front of you. Like it should be displayed in front of you because so it is very helpful when we are debugging the things. It will show you each and everything. See, it has click on the status tab. It will show you each and everything, whatever is happening on this APM server. So it is very necessary that whenever you are running any program or APM, please go ahead, open this APM window in front of you because this is very beneficial. So now what it did, it just opened up the WhatsApp and it has clicked on the second tab. It was very fast, so we are not able to see it. Okay, but it has done that. If you want, we can give some pause here also. Thread dot. So just you can just see what happened. And let me give two seconds time. Okay. So it will tell me to add through declaration. Okay. I've done that. All right. Let's run it again. Right. Let's go to WhatsApp. Okay, it has opened it. So we are in our chat tab and now it has gone to status tab. Okay, so this is it. This is how we can uh, automate the WhatsApp, uh, uh, WhatsApp application. We have just written one small code to hit on the tab, but now we can go ahead and uh, we can only want to automate more things also like reading the messages, printing out the message and all those things. All right. And if you see that the only small change which we did that we have comment out this line in which we are giving the app path and we are giving the capability without any space with the app package and app activity. There's no space between them and we are giving the app package and we are giving the activity which we think is the main activity and it is with the no name of dot main which we have seen in our app info application on the Android. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you like the video, please hit on the like button and share it. Thank you.